Lucas Giolito. In 2018, he finished with a record of 10 and 13 with a 6.13 ERA. Giolito was considered a bust of a trade for the White Sox. He was traded alongside Ronaldo Lopez and Dane Dunning for center fielder Adam Eaton. In my opinion, this was a good deal for the struggling White Sox. I also understand why the Nationals traded these three. They had a solid staff consisting of Scherzer, Steven Strasburg, Tanner Rourke, and Gio Gonzalez. Also, Adam Eaton may have been the piece that they needed for a playoff push. However, he tore his ACL early in 2018. The Nats missed the playoffs and are eight games under 500 as of now in 2019 without Bryce Harper who has left for the Phillies. However, Lucas Giolito is becoming a star for the White Sox. As of today, he is 7-1 with a 2.85 ERA, which is absurd for the American League. Giolito has began to pitch well because he has a new battery partner, former Tigers catcher James McCann. The, the Sox signed the catcher as a free agent during the 2018 offseason. So far, McCann has had a great year, hitting 346 with four dingers and 12 RBIs, and is also a potential all-star candidate. I know how war is a huge stat today, and James McCann has a better war than starting all-star catcher, potentially, for the Cubs, Wilson Contreras. Lucas Giolito has said that he's a very good catcher and that he loves throwing to him. The two get along really well, and it showed. This season, the Sox have had a 5.65 ERA pitching to other catcher and former starter Wellington Castillo, but they only have a 4.51 ERA pitching to McCann. McCann this year has been such a better hitter than Castillo, so it makes sense that McCann should be playing pretty much every day, and with Castillo out with a concussion, this is McCann's chance to prove why he should be the everyday starter. Um, and also, I know what you're thinking, that 4.51 is not a good ERA, which it really isn't, but with the Sox current staff consisting of Giolito, Ronaldo Lopez, Ivan, Ivan Nova, Dylan Covey, and Manny Benuelos, it's pretty good. McCann is said to have a great work ethic, and he is studying scouting reports constantly. He always wants to help the White Sox in any way that he can. He also has a very high baseball IQ, according to White Sox manager Rick Renteria. So far, McCann has been a great fit for this young White Sox team, and he seems like a good leader for them. Hopefully, Lucas Giolito can keep up his hot streak, and hopefully he becomes an all-star, which I think he should. I'm really rooting for this guy. As for James McCann, I hope for the same. I hope you, have, I hope you all have enjoyed. Have a great rest of your day. Goodbye.